Tanner, tech, Tanner, tech, Tanner, Tanner, tech, Tanner, tech, Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. So there's this cool phenomenon that happens in beaches and it happens in the desert where if lightning strikes the sand, it'll actually cause it to turn to glass because sand turns to glass at extreme heats and lightning is extremely hot when it hits the ground just because it's this plasma of electricity. Now, I decided to try out this experiment where I use my ZVS driver to try and turn sand to glass. It's nowhere near as powerful as a bolt of lightning. A bolt of lightning has millions of times more energy than this ZVS driver. But I still uh, think it's cool to give it a try and see what happens when I take some sand, put it on a heat sink, tie that heat sink to ground, and take the positive voltage from the ZVS driver and bring it right above the sand and see if I can get that lightning to arc into the sand and melt it to glass. So let's try this out. Oh, there we go. So that was uh, the CBS driver striking the sand. Now let's take a look at what the sand actually looks like after it was melted. Because the pieces of glass that it made are extremely small, so I'll use this lens on my phone camera to get a cool picture of it. This is the piece of glass that was created through this experiment. Now it's really cool to see all the little bumps on it where each of the grains of sand actually liquefied and became glass. So all these liquefied grains of sand all clumped together to form this piece. So this is what the glass looks like, and it's really cool. So there you go. That was just a quick little experiment video about lightning striking sand to turn into glass, and a little thing that I recreated with this. Who knows, maybe one time I'll get a much more powerful high voltage power supply, and then I can create larger pieces of glass. As always, thanks for watching.